And according to Hollywood, the world's always ending, but now we have Hollywood's best and brightest to save the day. Or maybe not save the day, but at least survive it. And maybe not survive it, but at least exist in it, which is probably funny. This is the end. So this is the end is an apocalyptic movie, end of the world kind of shit happening. This movie stars a few actors, but the main two were Seth Rogen and Jay Baruchel. And the best part is they all play themselves. All the actors in this movie play themselves in this movie. I love it when movies do that. And this movie did it really well. Everyone goes to a party at James Franco's house. It's all crazy. And then the world starts ending. And then Seth Rogen, Jay Baruchel, James Franco, Danny McBride, Daryl from The Office. I, I know him as Daryl from The The guy has a name. He's Daryl from The Office. And Jonah Hill are all stuck in James Franco's house and they're trying to survive the apocalypse. That's the premise of the movie. Brought to you by the guys who did Pineapple Express. Are you excited? You should be. It's funny. What I love most in this movie are all the references. I'm a big cinephile, so when you have cinephile humor among the apocalypse? Is Christmas early this year? Is it Christmas in summer? Seriously, you look at James Franco's house, and there's all this cinematic shit. He has a Freaks and Geeks poster in the background. He has the prop arm from 127 hours. Everyone in this movie ultimately plays the characters they always play in movies, but in this movie, the typecast worked. It's funny to see them play play them as exaggerated representations of themselves. So when you see one of these guys acting like a total douchebag asshole, but they know it, like the actor's like, I'm gonna play a douchebag asshole version of myself. And it'll be fun like that. Not every actor can pull that off, but this crew has that. I think more actors should do that. That's what I liked about Emma Watson in this movie. She's in this movie. Let's be honest, Hermione's hot. And in the apocalypse, she's even hotter. The fact that she's in this movie at all is awesome. And how she acts in this movie just makes it even better. Hermione just stole all their shit. Best part of this movie is coked out Michael Sarah. Whoever came up with the concept of coked out Michael Sarah is a genius. Whoever you are out there, thank you. You win an award, a medal. I don't know what medal. I don't know what award. I would make it the Medal of Honor if I could, but I can't. You have my appreciation and respect. First round's on me. The bummer is he's only in it for a little bit of the movie, but when he is there, genius all the way. That wasn't even a thumbs up. That was like the presidential thumb. That was genius all the way and the American people have won. This movie does have lowbrow toilet humor in it, I will say that. More notably, dick jokes. I think I say this about every movie made by this crew. It's funny, it's great, it's clever, it's witty, and then they're like, oh hey, dicks. Cause dicks are just simple jokes and they're thrown in there. I think Freud would have a field day with this group of fellows. Got a blank spot, can't think of anything? Dick, you want a dick? Here's a dick. It might be a dick, it might be a real dick, it might be an animatronic dick, it might be a CGI dick, it might be a prop dick, but there are gonna be dicks. But it doesn't take away from the fact that the movie is effective in what it's setting out to do. Making a laugh about the end of the world with a bunch of actors who are laughing at themselves. I love it when actors get together and they even make fun of the movies they've done that weren't so good. So was the movie groundbreaking? Not exactly. I don't think groundbreaking is the word. I think effective is the word. It's clever, it's witty, it's movie humor. If you love movies, you're gonna like like a lot of the humor in this movie. However, it is raunchy, it is rank, it might be a little over the top for some people. I don't know that I'd buy the movie on Blu-ray, but it does deserve the rating. This is the end is worth buying on Blu-ray. I guess I could just say this movie's not gonna win over any new people. If you watched movies by these guys before and you haven't liked them, I don't know, skip it, watch Man of Steel. Laugh out loud raunch comedy and Superman. Pretty successful weekend. Alright, so if the world was ending, like, tomorrow, who would be the crew you'd want to be stuck with for a week? Your crew that you would want to survive it. I'm a dead shot with a shotgun down a hallway, let me tell you. Whoever it would be, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.